In markets, when it comes to volatility, the focus is inevitably on equities and its popular metric, the VIX. For more nuanced metrics, some investors look at VVIX or VIX one day or VIX nine day, but it's always about equities. However, equities aren't the only volatile asset class. Bonds too can be volatile. Bofa's bond market vol index, MOVE, reflects the volatility in treasury futures and is considered a proxy for term premium for treasuries. Simply put, term premium is the compensation investors need for holding long-dated treasuries rather than shorter dated T-bills. Fairly logical. There have been periods, for example, the pandemic lows, when term premium was actually negative. That was then. More recently, it has steadily risen as estimated by the New York Fed survey-based methodology. However, through the year, it's been fairly stable between 50 basis points at the end of last year and about 64 basis points now. This is also the period where the move index has been largely stable, although it did see a spike when tariff tantrum started in April. April was the period as term premium spiked, treasury yields spiked quite massively, and treasury fell about 10% pretty rapidly. Corporate bonds, both investment grade and high yield, also fell about 5 to 6%. In effect, higher volatility in bonds has the same effect as it has on equities, a negative move across duration and quality. Guess what? The move index is on the move again. It's risen over the last few days, and while it's early days, remember that every large move begins as a small one. And it's been an uneasy calm in the bond market, with credit spreads getting squeezed to near record lows. Should bond volatility make a comeback, there is no hiding place in bonds, neither in treasuries nor in corporate bonds. The risks in the bond market are indeed skewed to the downside. Yes, they don't move like Jagger, but bonds do move. This is Sunil Garg from Lighthouse Canton.